Good afternoon, Rudy Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be finally taking a look at the Lockstar module for Samsung GoodLock, and that is Samsung's customization suite here for the Galaxy series of devices. This is my Galaxy S25 Ultra, as you guys know, and we're going to pop into GoodLock here. Now, this is not showing up in GoodLock or in the Galaxy store just quite yet. I did install this APK manually. Um, you can find it on APK Mirror. I don't post links to APKs because they do change and um, I don't want people downloading the wrong one or downloading something malicious if something goes wrong. So I don't provide links to these, but if you hop over to X, um, there are a lot of popular people on there that do provide the links to these and they do keep them up to date and you know they're tried and tested, but I'm not going to do that just because I wanna keep everybody safe and I don't want anybody, like I said, downloading any malicious APKs. So this is something that will be released to the public here coming up. So this is kind of a little bit of a preview for you guys that don't have the APK installed. So as you can see here, we have Lockstar on the top of the GoodLock application. And I already did some messing around and set this up um, earlier today. So this is my home screen. This is what we're looking at right now. Um, I have the clock here with the uh, Lockstar. You can place the clock anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be snapped to a grid or anything like that, you can literally put it anywhere you want. I kind of refrain from putting stuff down in the very bottom uh, section just because that's where the fingerprint sensor is. Um, so I usually keep stuff in the middle or up top. Uh, depending on the uh, notification style you're using, you may want to place the clock closer to the top as well. Uh, usually if you're using the card view, uh, you get less notifications um, in the card view if the clock is down lower. Uh, because it doesn't have, have as much space to fill up. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but I'm not using the card view. I keep my icons up on the status bar. Uh, so we have that. Uh, that's the edit mode. Here's some of the different options that you have. Uh, this is for the uh, lock screen, and then you can switch it down there to the always on display. So um, on the always on display, you can put app widgets and stickers. And then on the uh, home screen here, or the actual lock screen here, you can do app widgets, uh, favorite apps, which I have over there, stickers, help text, which just puts the uh, you know, helpful text hints down here on the bottom that'll show you like various messages. Um, I think this is where it'll tell you like your battery percentage or to connect your charger, stuff like that. I'm going to leave that off for now and see what I do and don't get um, and see if I still get my battery percentage and stuff like that when it's charging. Um, if not, I'll turn it back on, but I have it turned off for right now. Uh, you can change the lock screen timeout. Um, it, it's on default right now. You can increase it to five minutes. Uh, using Lockstar, I'm just going to leave that on default. I don't need my lock screen to stay on for five minutes every time it wakes up or something. And then you can change the lock icon up at the top here, um, which conveniently just went away. But you can change what it looks like when it's locked and unlocked. You can also add a custom image or two custom images, actually. You can add one for a locked and you can add one for unlocked. So whatever you want it to be, you can have your face picture, or, you know, whatever picture of your cat, picture of your dog for when it's unlocked. You can whatever you want to do. Uh, you can do that and you can change the color of it right here. Like I said, it conveniently just went away. So uh, there it is up top there. You can see it now. Uh, let me see if I can, there we go. Oh, no, it keeps sliding up when that comes up. So you can't see it. That's a little bit of a bug right there, but um, we're gonna hop out of here, out of the edit mode and go to my lock screen itself. Um, so you can see here we have the clock, which all the standard clock stuff, but like I said, you can place it anywhere you want. Um, I have my regular widgets here. I don't have any of the other widgets, but with this, you can use any of the widgets that you want. Um, so if we go into edit mode here, you can also edit it from right here. Uh, Lockstar pops up right there. If we hop into app widgets, uh, you can see we get widgets for all your applications, not just the, um, okay then, not just the applications or not just the items that show up on these widgets right here. You can actually have full on widgets like you can on the home screen and it just did face unlock, so um, there we go. And you can also add, this is the favorite apps right here, so you can hide this. I actually replaced, like I have my uh, sound option over here, and then I replaced the button over here, I just turned that button off, and then put this over here on the corner, and you can add up to six favorite apps. Again, it just face unlocked. Um, you can do like a flashlight, you can turn on and off, do not disturb, so you can have that toggle right there. I prefer those toggles for this because uh, when you use these toggles, you have to swipe on them and it does this stupid little animation thing. I just hate that for the toggles. Like, why can't it just be like a push button? Um, so I do like the flashlight and stuff being over here and the do not disturb and stuff like that because you just tap it. You don't have to do the swipe with the stupid animation thing. Um, and then if you want to open like an app, you can do so. 
just by tapping it and then unlocking and when your phone unlocks it will go right in um, so it was uh, that Josh guy that provided me with the APK um, so if you guys want to check him out on X you can check him out he does have the link to the APK in his replies and I think he's posted some other stuff there as well for Samsung and One UI 7. He writes for Sammy Gurus. I do a podcast and YouTube shorts for Sammy Gurus. So we're all working together here for Android and news and all that kind of stuff. So that is my home screen, or sorry, my lock screen rather, using Samsung Good Lock and the Lockstar module. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great day.